I don't know if we're doing this. But where do I put it? What do I do with it? I'm gonna have to drive it into town anyway. On today's episode of Montana Dana, I drink a whole lot of coffee. When I finish drinking coffee, I drink a whole lot more. And then decide if I should go number two in this sack or drive into town. Later, I meet friends at Schoolie Palooza and enjoy a beautiful sunset. Good morning, friends. I'm so excited to see the view this morning. We pulled in after dark last night. So it's always fun to check out the view in the morning. The music was bumping last night, but I just put on a Netflix show and fell asleep and I was fine until the dog orchestra started this morning. There were lots of dogs outside barking at each other. Excuse me. I was trying to show the people my door reveal this morning. I'm gonna put my shoes on. I'm also gonna go grab some water for coffee because it's gonna be coffee this morning. sleeping well. Your fire dancing was beautiful last night. Oh yes, queen. So I filled up my water already, so it's good to go. Look at this cactus. Hey queen. I'm so excited for the sunsets here. I feel like they're gonna be absolutely stunning. I'm gonna clean this up. I can't wait to get set up, light my candles, write some music this morning, and just like chill, ease into the day. This is the van life that I want to live. This is it. We'll go explore later. I'm about 15 miles from Quartzsite, so I wanna go get a gemstone. Thank you, Karen, for your donation. She donated on PayPal, and she wants me to go get a gemstone. So I'm like, okay, twist my arm. Thank you, Karen. I'm excited about that later. I'm also gonna go hang out with my friends, Drew and Rita and others. I'm gonna set up the Jackery solar system right away. We're in direct sunlight, which is awesome. Make sure I'm charging throughout the day. I'm also gonna snag the Jackery to make some coffee. Maybe I leave my water boiler in here because I have to leave my big jackery in here to charge the fridge. But today I'll just bring it in. We definitely need a charge here. I'm so surprised it only gets 70 watts. One of these must not be working because usually it's like double. Let's try one at a time. This one's not working. This is the culprit. This will work for today. Wowzers. Okay, you boil up good. I got my collagen and instant coffee. One of my solar panels isn't working. Dang it. I'm gonna have to order a new one. That's that's gonna be key in being able to do this lifestyle. All right, we got some boiling water. We're good to go. I'll keep the Big Jackery charging just cause I need to run my fridge. I bought a bunch of groceries. I don't want them to go bad, so that's priority. And maybe I will go for a drive so I can charge the little one cause I'm gonna need heat tonight. I plug in my lights and my heating blanket and my keyboard and all my electronics so <sighs> my solar panels did sit in storage for almost a year and then my brother used them during hurricane thank goodness he had them um but they sat in their garage for a little while and it's very humid there i wonder if it got water damage or something i don't know it doesn't matter because they're broken either way no, it's not broken. My sweet, sweet thirst for coffee. I would love to have like a self-contained uh, rig, maybe a schoolie, because I want something bigger than the van, but going back and forth between the car and the trailer is really obnoxious. Like, I'm just trying to get my cream for my coffee. And now that I've set up the jackeries, I can't open the door. I would just like to flavor my coffee, please. Actually, I'm happy I checked, because the fridge turned off and <laughs> That means I need to adjust. Oh, you, you wanna fall over? Okay. Cool. I don't know if Jackery is the problem child or if the fridge company is the problem child, but this never stays in. I can't see it for some reason. All right, we have power. This is not the correct way to do van life. It just is not. All right, so this Jackery is broken some, for some reason. Don't know, don't know why. Zero power coming in. It's just, it's not working. I've had issues with extreme temperatures ruining my shit before, so I'm not entirely surprised. Might be the cold, might be the humidity, might just be, it's a couple years old, but I feel like it should have lasted longer. <laughs>
Sometimes at these big get-togethers, there will be a pit toilet. I know talking about toilets is annoying for a lot of people, but um, it's the reality of this lifestyle. Um, so I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find that. Maybe I'll drive into town. I might drive into town. It's not that far away. I wasn't planning on going into quartzite this early, but I might have to, if you know what I mean. Got my journal. This is my favorite part of the morning. I usually write about three pages. I'll start with monkey mind. Sometimes that inspires an idea for a song and then I do gratitude writing. Or I could just not run into town to go to the bathroom. Um, 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 I feel like I'm about to lose all self-respect I ever had for myself, ever. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Are we doing this? I don't know if we're doing this, but where do I put it? What do I do with it? I'm gonna have to drive it into town anyway. Uh, uh, uh. There's this one van lifer who told me he just poops in a doggy bag and then throws it away. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. No. No. No, I'm driving into town. I did it. I did it. I couldn't, I couldn't wait to unhitch the trailer and drive 15 minutes into town on a bumpy road. And I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I don't know. I don't know how much longer I can stay here. <laughs> this is a new low for me personally, but now I just get to chill and write in my journal and write music and drink my coffee. So there's that, but, but, what, but, what, but what do I do with it? What, where do I, what do I, where do I put it? I don't know where to put it. They tell you to curb your dog. Do you have to curb your sorry excuse for a human? I, I don't, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do it. It is triple wrapped in plastic. I know that. But, oh God. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to put it in one more bag just in case. It is now quadruple wrapped in plastic. I don't, where do I, what do I? I'm going to put it right in the front so I don't forget about it. Don't want it to be like that Chinese food you accidentally leave in your trunk for six weeks. Well, on a positive note, we are charging in here, so that's groovy. I'm gonna go inside the trailer and reevaluate my life decisions. I'm ready to buy a house. I'm there. I'm, I've made it. I've made it through van life, through a year of living out of suitcase. I'm ready for a house. Today's writing subject, where did we go wrong? How did we get here? All jokes aside though, yes, I feel like a garbage dumpster of a human, but I also am so relieved that I don't have to drive into town right now and do that whole thing. If I do more like off-grid lifestyle for a long period of time, I will definitely invest in a toilet, but I'm kind of the city living type of gal. And this isn't really my scene. Like I keep wanting to, to be my scene, but it's not. It's like people trying acid for the first time and expressing themselves through the art of belly dance, which I'm all about. I think it's beautiful. It's just, it's not, it's not my thing personally. It's time for more coffee. I just saw something out here that I might invest in. Check it out. I don't know. What do you think guys? Do I need to get a poo-poo shed? Like a little fold up poo-poo shed. Get like a bucket with some kitty litter. <laughs> Is that what we do? Just leave it outside? That could be an option. Or I could get a real job and get a house. That's that's also that's also one of the options in life. This is a decision I've made. Hi, puppy. Originally, the fridge was supposed to go in the trailer. I was gonna put it in here. I was gonna hollow out the bottom of this thing and put it there. I might still do that, but since I have room in my car, I was like, might as well. And this isn't too bad. I don't think so. So sad. I went into Target the other day to buy another like eight of these candles and they were gone. I might have to order some online. They're my favorite. And it's almost gone. I don't know if I've ever burnt a candle down so low. I love it so much. There's some live music happening over here. Gonna go check it out. It sounds really good. If I know she was religious, then I wouldn't have came strong to the house of such an angel to mess up to get back home. On the roof, she has stained anybody 
told you that them things are bad for you. I said many folks have warned me there's been several people try. Until now there ain't been nothing that I couldn't leave behind. This inspired me to write a song. Some of you don't know, I asked Instagram to give me an emotion, a letter A through G, and then one random word. So I'm gonna pick a comment and write a song, maybe in that style, a little country, you know. <sighs> this is great, this is, this is great. Outdoors, live music, coffee on tap all day, er day. Sign me up, honey. I'm gonna look through my comments and then pick a song. I don't know why, but I cannot come up with a song to save my life today. I've like come up with like 18 little ideas and none of them have stuck. Maybe it's cause there's music in the background. It's like hard to focus. And when I know people can hear me, like I don't sing my heart out. I like kind of just being on my own. There's people walking by. I don't know, I just get distracted very easily. And that sounds like a me problem. Yes, I know. Horse rides, get your horse rides. I have the most random lunch. It's a little bit charcuterie, it's a little bit crudité, but it's very French, whatever it is. It's snacky and I love it. I'm a bit of a French girl. My mom's last name is Leduc. We've got a lot of French in our blood. I'm a lot of Czechoslovakian. Have you guys done 23andMe? Who are you? Where do you come from? I'm German, Czechoslovakian, French, and just like British and a whole, un whole bunch of other shit. I mean, we're all kind of mutts at this point in America, but whatever I am, I enjoy Italian salami. I know that for fact. Salami and cheese. I love Trader Joe's. These carrots are just so good for snacking. I'm a snacky person. I love snacks. Who doesn't love a good snack? I don't trust you if you don't love snacks. I love cooking, but I do not like cooking for myself. I like cooking as an act of love for someone else, but I guess it could be an act of love toward myself, but I'm just I'm very simple. Fix our Donald Trump hair. I'm quite enjoying doing nothing today. It's great. I think my motivation level is down a little bit. It's a Saturday. I get two days off from vlogging. Just chilling today. I don't need to be a van life hero. I can chill if I want. This is my kind of sandwich, a keto sandwich. Yes, I don't eat keto, but I'm just not a bready type of person. I could never eat bread again and be just fine. I like the insides. Even on pizza, like as a kid, I used to eat the top off the pizza. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Roller up. Probably want to use two hands for this. Yep, you get the point though. I'm going to roll it up and knead it. Mm-hmm, sure am. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I'm just going to go for a walk and get some exercise and see if I can spot anybody I know. Probably not. Yeah, I'm just going to go check out the scenery and maybe see if I can find some garbages. That's probably a good idea. Oh my god, I'm getting some major schooly inspiration. I want a shuttle bus. I think that would be sweet. The perfect size, lots of windows. That will help with the lack of cell service inside the rig. And it's just a little bigger. You can have a full kitchen, full bathroom, all the good stuff. The trailer for me is a very, very temporary build. It's just so I can save up enough money to do the real deal. Maybe I'll just do an RV so I don't have to put any of the plumbing in. Dude, I already ran into my friend Mark. Um, by the way, I felt the hug in my soul. He gives the best hugs I've ever, I've ever felt. I knew I'd run into someone if I just started walking around. <laughs> He's cool. They're, um, him and Marina, his girlfriend, uh, did a documentary last year. They're in the Wander Box, or I think they sold their box, but always good people, always good people. And then the guy with him was like, if she doesn't have a number one country western hit, I'd be surprised. Do I really look that country western? I don't even really like country western music that much. <laughs> I'm trying to find my friend Rita. I'm just walking toward the dot. Maybe I'll find her, maybe I won't. This could be fun. Maybe I'll get a box truck. I would need a box truck where you can walk through the cab to the back though. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I just don't have the skills to do that myself. I just, I don't. I mean, maybe I could try, just try it. I don't know if I want to spend like six months to a year building something out though. I'd rather just get an RV and get on the road. I don't know though. Something like that would be pretty pretty freaking sweet. I feel like you could go lots of fun places in that thing. Okay, I actually might scoot back to my rig because I want to film one more, like a sunset song video. Put our hips into it, Carol. I'm nothing, just sitting out on my deck watching the beautiful sunset. What's up? What's up? There's something about these desert sunsets that never gets old. 
perfect weather. It was like a little breeze. We got cotton candy skies happening over here. We've got people talking about me over there. They're like, oh, we got someone from Florida. It is pretty. I'm enjoying this very much, very immensely. So pretty. This makes me my heart happy. Well, it's really lightweight because I just gutted all the heavy stuff out yeah, and use it for storage. That's so smart. And all my guitars go behind oh, there when I'm traveling. Yes. Oh, sick. Yeah. Wow, it's really pretty. Yeah. Can you just come serenade me? Like whenever you feel yeah, like it. Morning, Please do. Summer, What's your name? Maddie. Maddie, I'm Dana. Dana, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Twiggy. Twiggy. That's easy to remember. Oh, yeah. You said What's Bill. Bill? Yeah. Dana. Dana. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> she said she's going up to Flagstaff and she doesn't have a heater. So I'm going to give her my buddy heater. I was going to return it to Amazon because I just don't feel comfortable using it. But if she can use it and stay warm, that would be great. Please take it and use it. It just uses that little Thank green. You. You're welcome. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'm like, it's just going to sit in the back of my rig and I'd rather oh use it. You want the so box? Yeah, Thank it you. works really well. I just don't like using propane. So. Yeah, I feel that. Well, I'm not gonna have an option in Flagstaff. It's like yeah, you either get frostbite. Yeah, I used it in Denver. Right, I noticed that from over there. I'm like, that's piano. <laughs> yeah. Was there? There was an open mic or something yesterday, right? Did you sing in it? Uh, like, no, fire? I got here after dark yesterday, oh, so I, yeah. I was just kind of disoriented and parked here. So my friends are over there somewhere, but I just needed like an introvert day, so I've just been sitting. Totally. In my get that. Yeah, How long are you staying like, here? Um, I don't know. I always just stay till I'm like, it's time. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That. Yeah. Cool. So it's been I am feeling all the introvert vibes tonight. I just needed a day to kind of settle in. Been playing some keyboard, hanging out. I'm being like super lazy, but feels good. Feels good to kind of just get centered today, be in my own space. I'll probably hang out with friends tomorrow a little more. I was planning on doing that today, but I just, I needed the day. Sometimes you just need the day. It's been good. We got a rave going on over there. Got some jams going on over here. It's good times. It's really good times. If you made it this far in the video, I want to know what your heritage is down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love to share it with your friends, see you tomorrow.